What's up guys, FoxyCS here with a block and a min on the Big Reactor Controller. This block is an essential component in the construction of a big reactor, and we're going to go over the basics of making a reactor, and then look at the specifics of the block itself. To begin, the big reactor is a multi-block structure, and will require at least the following components in order to be considered valid. The reactor controller, the reactor access port, a Eulorium fuel rod, a reactor control rod, a reactor power top, and I highly recommend a reactor computer port, even though it's not necessary, but it will be extremely helpful in the long run. You'll also need some basic reactor blocks. Here we have one of the most basic possible configurations of a big reactor. Starting with the reactor casings on the bottom, we add an access port, a controller, a power tap, and a fuel rod in the middle with the reactor casings on the edges. And finally, more reactor casings along the edge and a reactor control rod on top of the Yellowium fuel rod. No matter the size of the reactor, it follows the same basic principles. The edges must be composed of reactor casing, as seen here, and the face must be made out of reactor glass, reactor casing, or any of the special reactor blocks. The Big Reactor GUI has some helpful tool tips that describe what each icon means and how it affects the reactor. One of the most important ones are right here, the energy output and the fuel burn-up rate. You want to keep your fuel burn-up rate very low, and you want to keep your energy output very high, of course. The higher that the core temperature is, the higher the fuel burn-up. The higher the reactivity, the lower the fuel burn-up. If you don't really understand the concepts of basic reactors, all you have to remember is that more control rods and Eulorian fuel rods means more power, but it also means higher burn-up rates, which means you're going to have to provide it with more Eulorium more quickly. Earlier, I mentioned that it's very beneficial to have computer control ports. That's because online, people have created reactor control programs that are very easy to install even if you don't know how to do computer craft. This is an example of one I found on the internet that I will leave a link to in the description. In this video, I only went over the basics of a passively cooled reactor. That means that the reactor generates the energy via the power tap. In another video, I may go over an actively cooled reactor which actually creates steam which is then sent to a turbine that creates the energy. But for now, thanks for watching and I hope you learned a lot.